Would you buy new Guitar Hero slash Rock Band controllers if they were made? Let me hear your thoughts down below, but controller manufacturer Hyperkin has been extremely, extremely vocal on Twitter for the last week, asking directly at Epic Games saying, hey, want to make a new Rock Band with us? If you don't know who Hyperkin is, they manufacture third-party controllers and are actually officially licensed by Microsoft to make Xbox One controllers. And from the looks of just one Google image search, it seems that they've got a lot of the bases covered. So they got to be doing something right. That is until we talk about Guitar Hero and Rock Band controllers. And that's where this tweet comes in. On February 7th, 2023, they expressed genuine interest in making new peripherals for a potential new Rock Band game. Now, I'm not going to be really jumping into, hey, is there going to be a Rock Band 5? Oh, is it going to be on Nintendo Switch, on the new Xbox, yada, yada, yada. Rock Band 4 exists. It works on Series X, Series S, PlayStation 5, etc. They're actually still releasing DLC for that game. Like, literally, this week they're releasing Jack Johnson and Nicki Minaj DLC. But the problem with Rock Band 4 is that they stopped manufacturing instruments for the game in about... 2016 or 2017 and then they just started shooting up in price like we could do a search right now look, I'll, I'll prove it who oh 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 my god oh my god oh no 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 and i know for the standard video game enjoyer they just want to buy something where you just buy it plug it in or turn it on and it works i get that and hyperkin looks like they're genuinely wanting to fix the problems with instrument scarcity and so the conversation starts here there's nothing concrete yet they just wanted to hear a lot of the community's concerns and then even in this tweet talking about wanting a peripheral plus a new game or peripherals for existing games they even call out clone hero by name so they even have the pc fans on board with this one but look, just honestly imagine being able to go into a walmart or a best buy or a target or a GameStop or something seeing a guitar hero slash rock band guitar being able to pick it up off the shelf buy it bring it home plug it in and it just working with everything possible Universal Guitar Hero guitars are something that has never existed until just recently the community has figured out that with Arduino technology, you can flash a specific firmware and it'll work on as many consoles as possible. Like just recently, BookReader52 cracked the code and was able to run Arduino controller speaking software onto the Xbox One. PlayStation 2, 3, 4, and 5 are pretty lax with PlayStation 3 controllers that are custom, and so you've been able to run Arduino custom guitars on the PlayStation family for a while now. So the whole idea that there could potentially be a industry standard of universal guitars is kind of mind-blowing. It'd potentially be very easy for you to just return a controller if it doesn't work. You can't get that when you spend $60 to $80 or, God forbid, $189 on a 15-year-old controller. Who's going to repair that? GameStop? No. Your local game store? No. The objective of this video is to bring more eyes to the situation. And I know that I am on record for saying that we do not need a remaster or yada 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 because the controllers are going to be trash. Look at this tweet right here. This is a tweet from Matriff who works directly with the Clone Hero team and is in close contact with many of the Clone Hero guitar modders. Clone Hero guitar modders including Katana, 760, Bormo Time, Fire Exit Man, etc. These are the guys that pioneered mechanical frets, good feeling controllers, unbreakable strum bars, and have been a huge pillar in the Guitar Hero slash Rock Band slash Clone Hero community to supply us with as new controllers as possible. Hyperkin is talking to these people. They are willing to not play by the book like Activision, like Mad Cats, and just make the same old controllers that are probably going to break in a couple days or less. Those Guitar Hero Live guitars, they were trash because they played by the book. Rock Band 4 controllers needed numerous firmware updates in order for them to function properly. But if we have community members who have made the best controllers that I've ever used in my life, talking with an official Microsoft partnered controller manufacturer, I would take that a million days over Mad Cats or Activision saying, hey, we're going to make guitars again. No, I want people who listen. And this is why I have so much hope in this. This is our one shot to get official guitars out on the market, out and stocked, ready to go worldwide, potentially. And this won't start unless we keep talking about this. So for the good of the Guitar Hero genre, the nostalgia, all the hours played, the good memories, and all the good times with Guitar Hero, Rock Band, and Clone Hero, share this news with as many people as you possibly can. 
repost, engage. We will probably never get this opportunity ever again. So please keep the conversation going and keep on talking. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week and thank you so much for watching.